what is up my fellow prod coders welcome to this video and today we are going to continue working on our landing page component so right now we have three out of four uh, yeah items or components we need and the last thing that is still missing is this uh, little yeah search suggestions area now if you click on that like it's searching for restaurants if you click on nightlife it's searching for nightlife and so on so just if the user is unsure like what to search for you can just click on that and it's going to automatically uh, fill uh, the search query and then kick off a search so that should be pretty easy because it's just a few icons and text so let's head over to our uh, code editor and since this component is only going to be used inside the landing page component i'll just create a subfolder in here and i'm going to create a js file and a css file okay let's create a dummy component first uh, import react from react we can say export function search suggestions plural because we have more than one and we will just return some diff and this diff will contain some text and we haven't wired that up to our landing component yet so this is what we're going to do right now so right now we should see this uh, search suggestions text over here yes now let's see what we actually have to do so it's basically just icons and text and if i see such an horizontal layout i immediately think of flexbox and this is exactly what we are going to use so we can just say uh, dot suggestions and then we say display flex and then we go back to a component we import our styles import styles from search suggestions.module.css and here we want dot slash oops where did my dot slash go and we can delete this text in here and then we say class name we assign it the class we can say styles dot suggestions and if we go back well as you can see you see nothing just because our component is empty right now of course um, but in fact we already know how to do these icons because remember we already did it in our search bar so this is how we uh, display an icon on our screen and since we already have that let's just go in here and let's just copy and paste that nice so now we should have an icon and afterwards we need a little bit of text so we'll say restaurants okay if we go back we see uh -huh, okay we have the text but we don't see the icon but the icon itself is there it's just white well why is that well remember when we did the search bar thing what we did is we said okay globally we want the icon to be white and that might not be ideal and uh, let's just make this rule a little bit more specific let's just say uh, search icon and this is also really good because if you have a class icon and then the search icon thing will like css modules will take care that this name is unique so we don't have any collisions or bad surprises later on um, so what we can just say is we can go here and we go to over here make this put curly braces in here then we can use string interpolation uh, to just say um, styles dot no, styles at search icon and now the search bar should still be white but uh, the icon itself is black which is the default color 
And this is exactly what we want. So by just making this CSS rule a little bit more specific, we can work around that issue. That's pretty cool. And uh, now what I think is that the font is too big, like for this one, it should be much smaller. If you look at this, it's super, super tiny, in fact. So uh, what can we do? Well, let's go back to our uh, code editor and let's just create a new, no, not here, here. Let's just create a new class. We're just going to call it suggestion. And this suggestion, let's just give it a font size of 0.75 rem. That should make the font much, much smaller. And in here we can say class name equals stars dot suggestion. Okay. Nice. So that looks okay, I would say, but it's still a little bit too close. Like the font is too close to the icon. So what we can do is we can just say, okay, we are going to give this um, suggestion, like the text, going to give it like a tiny margin left of four pixels. Okay. Yeah, that looks kind of right. Okay. And now we can just go ahead, take all of that and copy it. I think we need it four times, right? So now we have it four times, but as we can see now, like there's no space in between them. So that's not so nice, but there's a super easy fix for that. We can just give each of these uh, suggestions like a margin right of let's say 2.5 RAM. Ah, that looks much, much better. It's also aligned like vertically, so it looks quite nice. So let's check what uh, what we actually need, like in terms of text. So we have restaurants, nightlife, we already have restaurants, then we need nightlife, services, and delivery service. Okay. Nightlife service, delivery service. We can say nightlife. Uh, delivery services. What was the spelling of the sir? It was services, right? Yeah, like this. Okay, we should see something. Yes, now we have the proper text. And the only thing we still need is we need to find some icons. And this one it looks like a cocktail or something. So let's go to our Font Awesome site and search for a uh, cocktail. Yeah, this is the one. So this is FAS FA dash cocktail. Okay, that's good. So we can say, oh, and totally forgot. We of course still need the restaurant. So we can search for that Re restaurant. Yeah, this one. What's the correct pronunciation of that? Utensils, utensils. Yeah, so this is this is the one that we want. So let's go back and say utensils. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly though. Okay, so now the first two icons should have these. Uh, okay, nice. And the next one, yeah, it's kind of like a, a bell, sort of. So let's just search for a bell. Hmm. Ah, here it is, concierge bell. Yeah, okay. So let's go back and we can say concierge bell, like this, right? Should work, yeah. Okay, and then the last thing is, I think it was delivery, right? This looks like a, some car or a truck. So let's search for a truck. Yeah, here it is. FA-truck, okay. 
So this one will be FA dash truck. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of looks exactly like the thing we have in here. That's okay. Mm, I think later on we need to take care of some uh, spacing probably, but we're going to do that later on. Uh, but apart from that, it looks pretty good. So that's it then for our landing page. We fini we're finished with all the child components of the landing page. And now all we need to do is we need to align them properly. So put them in containers or something. We're going to see how to do that in the next tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.